Sun Yat-sen, the 12th of November 1866 to the 12th of March 1925, was the founding father of the Republic of China. The first provisional president of the Republic of China, Sun was a Chinese medical doctor, writer, philosopher, Georgist, calligrapher and revolutionary. As the foremost pioneer and first leader of a republican China, Sun is referred to as the father of the nation in the Republic of China rock and the forerunner of democratic revolution in the People's Republic of China PRC. Sun played an instrumental role in the overthrow of the Qing dynasty, the last imperial dynasty of China during the years leading up to the Xinhai Revolution. He was appointed to serve as provisional president of the Republic of China when it was founded in 1912. He later co-founded the Kuomintang, Nationalist Party of China, serving as its first leader. Sun was a uniting figure in post-imperial China, and he remains unique among 20th-century Chinese politicians for being widely revered amongst the people from both sides of the Taiwan Strait. Although Sun is considered to be one of the greatest leaders of modern China, his political life was one of constant struggle and frequent exile. After the success of the revolution and the Han Chinese regaining power after 268 years of living under Manchurian rule Qing dynasty, he quickly resigned from his post as president of the newly founded Republic of China to Yuan Shikai, and led successive revolutionary governments as a challenge to the warlords who controlled much of the nation. Sun did not live to see his party consolidate its power over the country during the northern expedition. His party, which formed a fragile alliance with the Chinese Communist Party, split into two factions after his death. Sun's chief legacy resides in his developing of the political philosophy known as the Three Principles of the People, nationalism Han Chinese nationalism, independence from imperialist domination, taking back power from the Manchurian Qing dynasty, rights of the people, sometimes translated as democracy, and the people's livelihood just society. Topic. Names Sun was born as Sun Wen Cantonese, Cyan Man, Sun Wen and his genealogical name was Sun Deming Cyan Doc Ming. Sun De Ming. As a child, his pet name was Tai Sung Dai Jung. Di Jung. Sun's courtesy name was Zaizi Zai Ji and his baptized name was Rixen Yatsan. Region. While at school in Hong Kong, he got the art name Yat Sen (Chinese: Yi Xian, Pinyin: Yixian, Sun Zhongshan, Sun Zhongshan). The most popular of his Chinese names is derived from his Japanese name Nakayama Shou (Zhongshan Chao), the pseudonym given to him by Toten Miyazaki while in hiding in Japan. Topic: <laughs> Early years. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Birthplace and early life. Sun Yat-sen was born on 12 November 1866 to Sun Desheng and Madame Yang. His birthplace was the village of Quihang, Shangshan County now Zhongshan City, Guangdong. He had a cultural background of Hakka with roots in Zijin, Heiwen, Guangdong and Cantonese. His father owned very few lands and worked as a tailor in Macau, and as a journeyman and a porter. After finishing primary education, he moved to Honolulu in the Kingdom of Hawaii, where he lived a comfortable life of modest wealth supported by his elder brother Sun Mei. <laughs> <laughs> education years At the age of 10, Sun Yat-sen began seeking schooling, and he met childhood friend Liu Haodong. By age 13 in 1878, after receiving a few years of local schooling, Sun went to live with his elder brother, Sun Mei Sun Mei in Honolulu. Sun Mei financed Sun Yat-sen's education and would later be a major contributor for the overthrow of the Manchus. During his stay in Honolulu, Sun Yat-sen went to Iolani School where he studied English, British history, mathematics, science, and Christianity. While he was originally unable to speak English, Sun Yat-sen quickly picked up the language and received a prize for academic achievement from King David Kalakaua before graduating in 1882. He then attended Oahu College now known as Punahou School for one semester. In 1883 he was sent home to China as his brother was becoming worried that Sun Yat-sen was beginning to embrace Christianity. When he returned to China in 1883 at age 17, Sun met up with his childhood friend Liu Haodong again at Beijidian, Beiji Dian a temple in Quihang village. They saw many villagers worshipping the Beiji literally North Pole Emperor God in the temple, and were dissatisfied with their ancient healing methods. 
They broke the statue, incurring the wrath of fellow villagers, and escaped to Hong Kong. While in Hong Kong in 1883 he studied at the Diocesan Boys' School, and from 1884 to 1886 he was at the Government Central School. In 1886 Sunday studied medicine at the Guangzhou Boji Hospital under the Christian missionary John G. Kerr. Ultimately, he earned the license of Christian practice as a medical doctor from the Hong Kong College of Medicine for Chinese the forerunner of the University of Hong Kong in 1892. Notably, of his class of 12 students, Sun was one of only two who graduated. Topic. Religious views and Christian baptism In the early 1880s, Sun May sent his brother to Iolani School, which was under the supervision of British Anglicans and directed by an Anglican prelate named Alfred Willis. The language of instruction was English. Although Bishop Willis emphasized that no one was forced to accept Christianity, the students were required to attend chapel on Sunday. At Iolani School, young Sun Wen first came in contact with Christianity, and it made a deep impression on him. Schriffen writes that Christianity was to have a great influence on Sun's whole future political life. Sun was later baptized in Hong Kong on the 4th of May 1884 by Rev. C. R. Hager, an American missionary of the Congregational Church of the United States (ABCFM), to his brother's disdain. The minister would also develop a friendship with Sun. Sun attended to Sai Church, Dao Ji Wei Tang, founded by the London Missionary Society in 1888, while he studied Western medicine in Hong Kong College of Medicine for Chinese. Sun pictured a revolution as similar to the salvation mission of the Christian Church. His conversion to Christianity was related to his revolutionary ideals and push for advancement. In 1924, Liao Chongzhen, a prominent and influential government official of the day, arranged a meeting between Sun and Martha Root, a well known journalist and traveling teacher of the Baha'i Faith in the late 19th and early 20th century. In this meeting, Sun came into contact with the teachings of the Baha'i Faith, expressing his appreciation for the cause and declaring it, highly relevant to the needs of China. Topic. Transformation into a revolutionary Topic. Four bandits During the Qing dynasty rebellion around 1888, Sun was in Hong Kong with a group of revolutionary thinkers who were nicknamed the Four Bandits at the Hong Kong College of Medicine for Chinese. Sun, who had grown increasingly frustrated by the conservative Qing government and its refusal to adopt knowledge from the more technologically advanced Western nations, quit his medical practice in order to devote his time to transforming China. Topic. Furin and Revive China Society In 1891, Sun met revolutionary friends in Hong Kong including Young Ku Wan who was the leader and founder of the Furin Literary Society. The group was spreading the idea of overthrowing the Qing. In 1894, Sun wrote an 8,000-character petition to Qing Viceroy Li Hongzhang presenting his ideas for modernizing China. He traveled to Tianjin to personally present the petition to Li but was not granted an audience. After this experience, Sun turned irrevocably toward revolution. He left China for Hawaii and founded the Revive China Society, which was committed to revolutionizing China's prosperity. Members were drawn mainly from Chinese expatriates, especially the lower social classes. The same month in 1894 the Fern Literary Society was merged with the Hong Kong chapter of the Revive China Society. Thereafter, Sun became the secretary of the newly merged Revive China Society, which Young Ku Wan headed as president. They disguised their activities in Hong Kong under the running of a business under the name Kuan Hang Club. Gan Hang Shing. Topic: First Sino-Japanese War. In 1895, China suffered a serious defeat during the First Sino-Japanese War. There were two types of responses. One group of intellectuals contended that the Manchu Qing government could restore its legitimacy by successfully modernizing. Stressing that overthrowing the Manchu would result in chaos and would lead to China being carved up by imperialists, intellectuals like Kong Yue and Liang Qichao supported responding with initiatives like the Hundred Days Reform. In another faction, Sun Yat-sen and others like Zhou Rong wanted a revolution to replace the dynastic system with a modern nation-state in the form of a republic. 
The Hundred Days Reform turned out to be a failure by 1898. From uprising to exile First Guangzhou Uprising In the second year of the establishment of the Revived China Society on 26 October 1895, the group planned and launched the First Guangzhou Uprising against the Qing in Guangzhou. Young Kui Wan directed the uprising starting from Hong Kong. However, plans were leaked out and more than 70 members, including Liu Haodong, were captured by the Qing government. The uprising was a failure. Sun received financial support mostly from his brother who sold most of his 12,000 acres of ranch and cattle in Hawaii. Additionally, members of his family and relatives of the Sun would take refuge at the home of his brother Sun Mei at Kamaoli in Kula, Maui. Topic. Exile in Japan Sun Yat-sen spent time living in Japan while in exile. He befriended and was financially aided by a democratic revolutionary named Miyazaki Toten. Most Japanese who actively worked with Sun were motivated by a pan-Asian fear of encroaching Western imperialism. While in Japan, Sun also met and befriended Mariano Ponce, then a diplomat of the First Philippine Republic. During the Philippine Revolution and the Philippine-American War, Sun helped Ponce procure weapons salvaged from the Imperial Japanese Army and ship the weapons to the Philippines. By helping the Philippine Republic, Sun hoped that the Filipinos would win their independence so that he could use the archipelago as a staging point of another revolution. However, as the war ended in July 1902, America emerged victorious from a bitter three-year war against the Republic. Therefore, the Filipino dream of independence vanished with Sun's hopes of collaborating with the Philippines in his revolution in China. Weizhou Uprising in China On the 22nd of October 1900, Sun launched the Weizhou Uprising to attack Weizhou and provincial authorities in Guangdong. This came five years after the failed Guangzhou Uprising. This time, Sun appealed to the triads for help. This uprising was also a failure. Miyazaki, who participated in the revolt with Sun, wrote an account of this revolutionary effort under the title, 33 Year Dream, San Shi San Yen Ji Meng in 1902. <laughs> <laughs> Further exile Sun was in exile not only in Japan but also in Europe, the United States, and Canada. He raised money for his revolutionary party and to support uprisings in China. While the events leading up to it are unclear, in 1896 Sunday Yat Sen was detained at the Chinese legation in London, where the Chinese Imperial Secret Service planned to kill him. He was released after 12 days through the efforts of James Cantley, The Globe, The Times, and the Foreign Office, leaving Sun a hero in Britain. James Cantley, Sun's former teacher at the Hong Kong College of Medicine for Chinese, maintained a lifelong friendship with Sun and would later write an early biography of Sun. Topic: <laughs> Heaven and Earth Society, Overseas Travel. A Heaven and Earth Society sect known as Tiandiwi had been around for a long time. The group has also been referred to as the Three Cooperating Organizations as well as the triads. Sun Yat-sen mainly used this group to leverage his overseas travels to gain further financial and resource support for his revolution. According to the New York Times, Sun Yat-sen left his village in Guangdong, southern China, in 1879 to join a brother in Hawaii. He eventually returned to China and from there moved to the British colony of Hong Kong in 1883. It was there that he received his Western education, his Christian faith and the money for revolution." This is where Sun Yat-sen realized that China needed to change its ways. He knew that the only way that China would change and modernize would be to overthrow the Qing dynasty. According to Li Yun-ping, chairman of the Chinese Historical Society, Sun needed a certificate to enter the United States at a time when the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882 would have otherwise blocked him. However, on Sun's first attempt to enter the U.S., he was still arrested. He was later bailed out after 17 days. In March 1904, while residing in Kula, Maui, Sun Yat-sen obtained a certificate of Hawaiian birth, issued by the Territory of Hawaii, stating that, 
He was born in the Hawaiian Islands on the 24th day of November, AD 1870. He renounced it after it served its purpose to circumvent the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882. Official files of the United States show that Sun had United States nationality, moved to China with his family at age four, and returned to Hawaii ten years later. Revolution Tongmenghui In 1904, Sun Yat-sen came about with the goal, "...to expel the Tatar barbarians i.e. Manchu, to revive Zonghua, to establish a republic, and to distribute land equally among the people." Ku Chu Da Lu Wei Fu Zhonghua Chuang Li Min Guo Ping Jun De Quan. One of Sun's major legacies was the creation of his political philosophy of the three principles of the people. These principles included the principle of nationalism Minzu, Minzu of democracy Min Quan, Min Quan and of welfare Min Sheng, Min Sheng on the 20th of August 1905. Sun joined forces with revolutionary Chinese students studying in Tokyo, Japan to form the Unified League Tongmenghui, Tongmenwei which sponsored uprisings in China. By 1906 the number of Tongmenghui members reached 963 people. Topic Malaya support Sun's notability and popularity extends beyond the Greater China region, particularly to Nanyang Southeast Asia, where a large concentration of overseas Chinese resided in Malaya Malaysia and Singapore. While in Singapore, he met local Chinese merchants Tao Eng Hock, Zhang Yang Fu Tan Chor Nam Shane Chu Nan and Lim Nei Soon, Lin Yi Shun which marked the commencement of direct support from the Nanyang Chinese. The Singapore chapter of the Tongmenghui was established on 6 April 1906. Though some records claim the founding date to be end of 1905. The villa used by Sun was known as Wan Ching Yuan. At this point Singapore was the headquarters of the Tongmenghui, thus, after founding the Tongmenghui, Dr. Sun advocated the establishment of the Chongqing Yit Pao as the alliance's mouthpiece to promote revolutionary ideas. Later, he initiated the establishment of reading clubs across Singapore and Malaysia, in order to disseminate revolutionary ideas among the lower class through public readings of newspaper stories. The United Chinese Library, founded on 8 August 1910, was one such reading club, first set up at least property on the second floor of the Wan He Salt Traders in North Boat Quay. The first actual United Chinese Library building was built between 1908 and 1911 below Fort Canning 51 Armenian Street, commenced operations in 1912. The library was set up as a part of the 50 reading rooms by the Chinese Republicans to serve as an information station and liaison point for the revolutionaries. In 1987, the library was moved to its present site at Cantonment Road. But the Armenian Street building is still intact with the plaque at its entrance with Sun Yat-sen's words. With an initial membership of over 400, the library has about 180 members today. Although the United Chinese Library, with 102 years of history, was not the only reading club in Singapore during the time, today it is the only one of its kind remaining. Siamese support In 1903, Sun made a secret trip to Bangkok in which he sought funds for his cause in Southeast Asia. His loyal followers published newspapers, providing invaluable support to the dissemination of his revolutionary principles and ideals among Chinese descant in Thailand. In Bangkok, Sun visited Yawarat Road, in Bangkok's Chinatown. It was on this street that Sun gave a speech claiming that overseas Chinese were the mother of the revolution. He also met local Chinese merchant Seo Houtseng, who sent financial support to him. Sun's speech on Yawarat Street was commemorated by the street later being named Sun Yat-sen Street or SOI Sun Yat-sen Thai SXE Sun Yat-sen in his honor Topic <laughs> Jeningan Uprising On the 1st of December 1907 Sun led the Jeningan Uprising against the Qing at Friendship Pass which is the border between Guangxi and Vietnam the uprising failed after seven days of fighting. In 1907 there were a total of four uprisings that failed including Wang Gang Uprising, Weizhou Seven Women Lake Uprising and Qinzhou Uprising. 
In 1908 two more uprisings failed one after another including Qin Lian Uprising and Heku Uprising. Anti-Sun movements Because of these failures, Sun's leadership was challenged by elements from within the Tongmengui who wished to remove him as leader. In Tokyo 1907–1908 members from the recently merged Restoration Society raised doubts about Sun's credentials. Dao Chenjiang Dao Sheng Zhang and Zhang Binglin publicly denounced Sun with an open leaflet called a declaration of Sun Yat sends criminal acts by the revolutionaries in Southeast Asia. This was printed and distributed in reformist newspapers like Nanyang Zongwe Bao. Their goal was to target Sun as a leader leading a revolt for profiteering gains. The revolutionaries were polarized and split between pro Sun and anti Sun camps. Sun publicly fought off comments about how he had something to gain financially from the revolution. However, by 19 July 1910, the Tongmengui headquarters had to relocate from Singapore to Penang to reduce the anti-Sun activities. It is also in Penang that Sun and his supporters would launch the first Chinese daily newspaper, the Kuang Hua Yit Po in December 1910. 1911 revolution To sponsor more uprisings, Sun made a personal plea for financial aid at the Penang Conference held on 13 November 1910 in Malaya. The leaders launched a major drive for donations across the Malay Peninsula. They raised $187,000. On 27 April 1911, revolutionary Huang Xing led a second Guangzhou uprising known as the Yellow Flower Mound Revolt against the Qing. The revolt failed and ended in disaster, the bodies of only 72 revolutionaries were found. The revolutionaries are remembered as martyrs. On 10 October 1911, a military uprising at Wuchang took place led again by Huang Xing. At the time, Sun had no direct involvement as he was still in exile. Huang was in charge of the revolution that ended over 2,000 years of imperial rule in China. When Sun learned of the successful rebellion against the Qing Emperor from press reports, he returned to China from the United States accompanied by his closest foreign advisor, the American General Homer Lee. He met Lee in London, where he and Lee unsuccessfully tried to arrange British financing for the new Chinese Republic. Sun and Lee then sailed for China, arriving there on 21 December 1911. The uprising expanded to the Xinhai Revolution, also known as the Chinese Revolution to overthrow the last Emperor Puyi. After this event, 10 October became known as the commemoration of Double Ten Day. <inaudible> Republic of China with multiple governments Provisional <inaudible> government <inaudible> 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 On 29 December 1911 a meeting of representatives from provinces in Nanking Nanjing elected Sun Yat-sen as the ''Provisional President'' Lin Shi Da Zong Tong 1 January 1912 was set as the first day of the first year of the Republic. Li Yuanhong was made Provisional Vice President and Huang Xing became the Minister of the Army. The new Provisional Government of the Republic of China was created along with the Provisional Constitution of the Republic of China. Sun is credited for the funding of the revolutions and for keeping the spirit of revolution alive, even after a series of failed uprisings. His successful merger of minor revolutionary groups to a single larger party provided a better base for all those who shared the same ideals. A number of things were introduced such as the republic calendar system and new fashion like Zhongshan suits. Baiyang government Yuan Shikai, who controlled the Baiyang Army, the military of northern China, was promised the position of President of the Republic of China if he could get the Qing court to abdicate. On 12 February 1912 Emperor Puyi did abdicate the throne. Sun stepped down as president, and Yuan became the new provisional president in Beijing on 10 March 1912. The provisional government did not have any military forces of its own, its control over elements of the new army that had mutinied was limited and there were still significant forces which still had not declared against the Qing. Sun Yat-sen sent telegrams to the leaders of all provinces requesting them to elect and to establish the National Assembly of the Republic of China in 1912. 
In May 1912 the Legislative Assembly moved from Nanjing to Beijing with its 120 members divided between members of Tongmenghui and a Republican Party that supported Yuan Shikai. Many revolutionary members were already alarmed by Yuan's ambitions and the northern-based Baiyang government. Nationalist Party and Second Revolution Tongmenghui member Song Jiaoran quickly tried to control the parliament. He mobilized the old Tongmenghui at the core with the merger of a number of new small parties to form a new political party called the Kuomintang Chinese Nationalist Party, commonly abbreviated as KMT, on 25 August 1912 at Huguang Guild Hall Beijing. The 1912–1913 National Assembly election was considered a huge success for the KMT winning 269 of the 596 seats in the lower house and 123 of the 274 Senate seats. The Second Revolution took place where Sun and KMT military forces tried to overthrow Yuan's forces of about 80,000 men in an armed conflict in July 1913. The revolt against Yuan was unsuccessful. Sun was forced to seek asylum in Japan with politician and industrialist Fuzanosuke Kahara. In retaliation the National Party leader Song Jiaoran was assassinated, almost certainly by a secret order of Yuan, on 20 March 1913. <laughs> Political chaos In 1915 Yuan Shikai proclaimed the Empire of China 1915 with himself as Emperor of China, Sun took part in the anti-monarchy war of the Constitutional Protection Movement, while also supporting bandit leaders like Bai Lang during the Bai Lang Rebellion. This marked the beginning of the warlord era. In 1915 Sunday wrote to the Second International, a socialist-based organization in Paris, asking it to send a team of specialists to help China set up the world's first socialist republic. At the time there were many theories and proposals of what China could be. In the political mess, both Sun Yat-sen and Xu Xichang were announced as president of the Republic of China. <laughs> Path to Northern Expedition Topic. Guangzhou militarist government China had become divided between different military leaders without a proper central government. Sun saw the danger of this and returned to China in 1917 to advocate Chinese reunification. In 1921 he started a self-proclaimed military government in Guangzhou and was elected Grand Marshal. Between 1912 and 1927 three governments had been set up in South China, the Provisional Government in Nanjing 1912, the Military Government in Guangzhou 1921 and the National Government in Guangzhou and later Wuhan 1925 The Southern Separatist Government in the South was established to rival the Baiyang Government in the North. Yuan Shikai had banned the KMT. The short lived Chinese Revolutionary Party was a temporary replacement for the KMT. On 10 October 1919, Sunday resurrected the KMT with the new name Cheng Kuo Kuomintang, simplified Chinese, Zhang Guo Guo Min Dang, traditional Chinese, Zhang Guo Guo Min Dang, Pinyin, Zhang Guo Guo Ming Dang, or the Nationalist Party of China. <laughs> KMT CPC cooperation By this time Sun had become convinced that the only hope for a unified China lay in a military conquest from his base in the south, followed by a period of political tutelage that would culminate in the transition to democracy. In order to hasten the conquest of China, he began a policy of active cooperation with the Communist Party of China CPC. Sun and the Soviet Union's Adolf Joff signed the Sun Joff Manifesto in January 1923. Sun received help from the Comintern for his acceptance of communist members into his KMT. Revolutionary and socialist leader Vladimir Lenin praised Sun and the KMT for their ideology and principles. Lenin praised Sun and his attempts at social reformation, and also congratulated him for fighting foreign imperialism. Sun also returned the praise, calling him a great man and sent his congratulations on the revolution in Russia. With the Soviets' help, Sun was able to develop the military power needed for the northern expedition against the military at the north. 
He established the Wampoa Military Academy near Guangzhou with Chiang Kai-shek as the Commandant of the National Revolutionary Army Other Wampoa leaders include Wang Jingwei and Hu Hanman as political instructors. This full collaboration was called the First United Front. Topic. Finance concerns In 1924 Sunday appointed his brother-in-law T. V. Sung to set up the first Chinese central bank called the Canton Central Bank. To establish national capitalism and a banking system was a major objective for the KMT. However Sun was not without some opposition as there was the Canton Volunteers Corps uprising against him. Topic. Final speeches. In February 1923 Sunday made a presentation to the Students' Union in Hong Kong University and declared that it was the corruption of China and the peace, order and good government of Hong Kong that turned him into a revolutionary. This same year, he delivered a speech in which he proclaimed his three principles of the people as the foundation of the country and the Five Yuan Constitution as the guideline for the political system and bureaucracy. Part of the speech was made into the National Anthem of the Republic of China. On 10 November 1924, Sun traveled north to Tianjin and delivered a speech to suggest a gathering for a national conference for the Chinese people. It called for the end of warlord rules and the abolition of all unequal treaties with the Western powers. Two days later, he traveled to Beijing to discuss the future of the country, despite his deteriorating health and the ongoing civil war of the warlords. Among the people he met was the Muslim general Ma Fushong, who informed Sun that they would welcome his leadership. On 28 November 1924 Sunday traveled to Japan and gave a speech on Pan-Asianism at Kobe, Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Illness and death For many years, it was popularly believed that Sun died of liver cancer. On 26 January 1925, Sun underwent an exploratory laparotomy at Peking Union Medical College Hospital to investigate a long-term illness. This was performed by the head of the Department of Surgery, Adrian S. Taylor, who stated that the procedure "...revealed extensive involvement of the liver by carcinoma," and that Sun only had about 10 days to live. Sun was hospitalized and his condition was treated with radium. Sun survived the initial 10-day period and on 18 February, against the advice of doctors, he was transferred to the KMT headquarters and treated with traditional Chinese medicine. This too was unsuccessful and he died on 12 March at the age of 58. Contemporary reports in the New York Times, Time, and the Chinese newspaper Kun Chang Bao all reported the cause of death as liver cancer, based on Taylor's observation. Following this the body then was preserved in mineral oil and taken to the Temple of Azure Clouds, a Buddhist shrine in the western hills a few miles outside of Beijing. He also left a short political will Zong Li Yizu penned by Wang Jingwei, which had a widespread influence in the subsequent development of the Republic of China and Taiwan. In 1926, construction began on a majestic mausoleum at the foot of Purple Mountain in Nanjing, and this was completed in the spring of 1929. On 1 June 1929, Sun's remains were moved from Beijing and interred in the Sun Yat-sen Mausoleum. By pure chance, in May 2016, an American pathologist named Rolf F. Barth was visiting the Sun Yat-sen Memorial Hall in Guangzhou when he noticed a faded copy of the original autopsy report on display. The autopsy was performed immediately after Sun's death by James Cash, a pathologist at PUMCH. Based on a tissue sample, Cash concluded that the cause of death was an adenocarcinoma in the gallbladder that had metastasized to the liver. In modern China, liver cancer is far more common than gallbladder cancer and although the incidence rates of either in 1925 are not known, if one assumes that they were similar at that time, then the original diagnosis by Taylor was a logical conclusion. From the time of Sun's death until the appearance of Barth's report in the Chinese Journal of Cancer in September 2016 now known as Cancer Communications since March 1, 2018, the true cause of death of Sun Yat-sen was not reported in any English-language publication. Even in Chinese language sources, it only appeared in one non-medical online report in 2013. Topic: Legacy. Topic: Power struggle. 
After Sun's death, a power struggle between his young protégé Chiang Kai-shek and his old revolutionary comrade Wang Jingwei split the KMT. At stake in this struggle was the right to lay claim to Sun's ambiguous legacy. In 1927 Chiang Kai-shek married Sung Mei Ling, a sister of Sun's widow Sung Ching Ling, and subsequently he could claim to be a brother-in-law of Sun. When the Communists and the Kuomintang split in 1927, marking the start of the Chinese Civil War, each group claimed to be his true heirs, a conflict that continued through World War II. Sun's widow, Sung Ching Ling, sided with the Communists during the Chinese Civil War and served from 1949 to 1981 as Vice President or Vice Chairwoman of the People's Republic of China and as Honorary President shortly before her death in 1981. Cult of personality A personality cult in the Republic of China was centered on Sun and his successor, Generalissimo Chiang Kai-shek. Chinese Muslim generals and imams participated in this cult of personality and one-party state, with Muslim general Ma Bufang making people bow to Sun's portrait and listen to the national anthem during a Tibetan and Mongol religious ceremony for the Qinghai Lake God. Quotes from the Quran and Hadith were used among Wei Muslims to justify Chiang Kai shek's rule over China. The Kuomintang's constitution designated Sun as party president. After his death, the Kuomintang opted to keep that language in its constitution to honor his memory forever. The party has since been headed by a director general (1927–1975) and a chairman since 1975, which discharge the functions of the president. Topic. Father of the nation Sun Yat-sen remains unique among 20th-century Chinese leaders for having a high reputation both in mainland China and in Taiwan. In Taiwan, he is seen as the father of the Republic of China, and is known by the posthumous name Father of the Nation, Mr. Sun Zhongshan Chinese, Guo Fu Sun Zhongshan Xian Sheng where the one character space is a traditional homage symbol. His likeness is still almost always found in ceremonial locations such as in front of legislatures and classrooms of public schools, from elementary to senior high school, and he continues to appear in new coinage and currency. Topic. Forerunner of the revolution On the mainland, Sun is seen as a Chinese nationalist, proto-socialist, first president of a republican China and is highly regarded as the forerunner of the revolution. He is even mentioned by name in the preamble to the Constitution of the People's Republic of China. In recent years, the leadership of the Communist Party of China has increasingly invoked Sun, partly as a way of bolstering Chinese nationalism in light of Chinese economic reform and partly to increase connections with supporters of the Kuomintang on Taiwan which the PRC sees as allies against Taiwan independence. Sun's tomb was one of the first stops made by the leaders of both the Kuomintang and the People First Party on their pan-blue visit to mainland China in 2005. A massive portrait of Sun continues to appear in Tiananmen Square for May Day and National Day. Topic. Religious veneration Sun is venerated as a saint in Dao Sao Dai, a religion established in Vietnam in 1926. He, along with the two other saints Victor Hugo and Nguyen Bin Kim, represented mankind to declare the alliance peaceful treaty with God. Topic. Family Sun Yat-sen was born to Sun Desheng Sun da Sheng and his wife, Lady Yang Yang Shi on 12 November 1866. At the time his father was age 53, while his mother was 38 years old. He had an older brother, Sun Dezeng, Sun De Zhang and an older sister, Sun Jingxing, Sun Jin Xing who died at the early age of four. Another older brother, Sun Diu, Sun Diu died at the age of six. He also had an older sister, Sun Maokian, Sun Miao Qian and a younger sister, Sun Chuqi, Sun Chu Qi at age 20. Sun had an arranged marriage with fellow villager Lu Muzhen. She bore a son, Sun Fo, and two daughters, Sun Jinyuan, Sun Jinyuan and Sun Jinwen. Sun Jinwen. Sun Fo was the grandfather of Leland Sun, who spent 37 years working in Hollywood as an actor and stuntman. 
Sun Yat-sen was also the godfather of Paul Myron Anthony Linnebarger, American author and poet who wrote under the name Cordwainer Smith. Sun's first concubine, the Hong Kong-born Chen Quifan, lived in Taiping, Perak, Malaysia for 17 years. The couple adopted a local girl as their daughter. Quifan subsequently relocated to China, where she passed away. On 25 October 1915 in Japan, Sun married Sung Ching Ling, one of the Sung sisters. Sung Ching Ling's father was the American educated Methodist minister Charles Sung, who made a fortune in banking and in printing of Bibles. Although Charles Sung had been a personal friend of Sun's, he was enraged when Sun announced his intention to marry Ching Ling because while Sun was a Christian he kept two wives, Lu Muzhen and Kaoru Itsuki. Sung viewed Sun's actions as running directly against their shared religion. Sung Ching Ling's sister, Sung Mei Ling, later married Chiang Kai-shek. Cultural references Memorials and structures in Asia In most major Chinese cities one of the main streets is named Zhongshan Lu, Zhongshan Lu to celebrate his memory. There are also numerous parks, schools, and geographical features named after him. Shangshan, Sun's hometown in Guangdong, was renamed Zhongshan in his honor, and there is a hall dedicated to his memory at the Temple of Azure Clouds in Beijing. There are also a series of Sun Yat-sen stamps. Other references to Sun include the Sun Yat-sen University in Guangzhou and National Sun Yat-sen University in Kaohsiung. Other structures include Sun Yat-sen Mausoleum, Sun Yat-sen Memorial Hall Subway Station, Sun Yat-sen House in Nanjing, Dr. Sun Yat-sen Museum in Hong Kong, Chung Shan Building, Sun Yat-sen Memorial Hall in Guangzhou, Sun Yat-sen Memorial Hall in Taipei and Sun Yat-sen Nanyang Memorial Hall in Singapore. Zhongshan Memorial Middle School has also been a name used by many schools. Zhongshan Park is also a common name used for a number of places named after him. The first highway in Taiwan is called the Sun Yat-sen Expressway. Two ships are also named after him, the Chinese gunboat Chung Shan and Chinese cruiser Yat-sen. The old Chinatown in Calcutta, now known as Kolkata, India has a prominent street by the name of Sun Yat-sen Street. There are also two streets named after Sun Yat-sen, located in the cities of Astrakhan and Ufa, Russia. In Georgetown, Penang, Malaysia, the Penang Philomatic Union had its premises at 120 Armenian Street in 1910, during the time when Sun spent more than four months in Penang, convened the historic Penang Conference to launch the fundraising campaign for the Wangwaging Uprising and founded the Kuang Wa Yit Po. This house, which has been preserved as the Sun Yat Sen Museum, formerly called the Sun Yat Sen Penang Base, was visited by President designate Hu Jintao in 2002. The Penang Philomatic Union subsequently moved to a bungalow at 65 McAllister Road which has been preserved as the Sun Yat-sen Memorial Center Penang. As dedication, the 1966 Chinese Cultural Renaissance was launched on Sun's birthday on 12 November. The Nanyang Wan Ching Yuan in Singapore have since been preserved and renamed as the Sun Yat-sen Nanyang Memorial Hall. A Sun Yat-sen Heritage Trail was also launched on the 20th of November 2010 in Penang. Sun's U.S. citizen Hawaii birth certificate that show he was not born in the Rock, but instead born in the U.S. was on public display at the American Institute in Taiwan on U.S. Independence Day, the 4th of July 2011. A street in Maidan, Indonesia, is named Jalan Sun Yat-sen in honor of him. Topic Gallery. Memorials and structures outside of Asia St. John's University in New York City has a facility built in 1973, the Sun Yat-sen Memorial Hall, built to resemble a traditional Chinese building in honor of Sun. Dr. Sun Yat-sen Classical Chinese Garden is located in Vancouver, the largest classical Chinese gardens outside of Asia. There is the Dr. Sun Yat-sen Memorial Park in Chinatown, Honolulu. On the island of Maui, there is the Little Sun Yat-sen Park at Kamaoli. It is located near to where his older brother had a ranch on the slopes of Haleakala in the Kula region. In Chinatown, Los Angeles, there is a seated statue of him in Central Plaza. In Sacramento, California there is a bronze statue of Sun in front of the Chinese Benevolent Association of Sacramento. Another statue of Sun Yat-sen by Joe Rosenthal can be found at Riverdale Park in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. 
There is also the Moscow Sun Yat-sen University. In Chinatown, San Francisco, there is a 12-foot statue of him on St. Mary's Square. In late 2011, the Chinese Youth Society of Melbourne, in celebration of the 100th anniversary of the founding of the Republic of China, unveiled, in a lion dance blessing ceremony, a memorial statue of Sun outside the Chinese Museum in Melbourne's Chinatown, on the spot where their traditional Chinese New Year lion dance always ends. In 1993 Lily Sun, one of Sun Yat-sen's granddaughters, donated books, photographs, artwork and other memorabilia to the Kapiolani Community College Library as part of the Sun Yat-sen Asian Collection. During October and November every year the entire collection is shown. In 1997 the Dr. Sun Yat-sen Hawaii Foundation was formed online as a virtual library. In 2006 the NASA Mars Exploration Rover Spirit labeled one of the hills explored, Zhongshan. The plaque shown earlier in this article is by Dora Gordine, and is situated on the site of Sun's lodgings in London in 1896, eight greys in place. There is also a blue plaque commemorating Sun at the Kennels, Cotterd, Hertfordshire, the country home of the Cantleys where Sun came to recuperate after his rescue from the legation in 1896. A street named Sun Yat Sen Avenue is located in Markham, Ontario. This is the first such street name outside of Asia. In popular culture Opera Dr. Sun Yat-sen, Zhang Shan Yi Xian Zhang Shan Yi Xian is a 2011 Chinese language Western style opera in three acts by the New York based American composer Huang Ruo, who was born in China and is a graduate of Oberlin College's Conservatory as well as the Juilliard School. The libretto was written by Candice Mui Gam Chong, a recent collaborator with playwright David Henry Wong. It was performed in Hong Kong in October 2011 and will be given its North American premiere on 26 July 2014 at the Santa Fe Opera. TV series and films The Life of Sun is portrayed in various films, mainly The Sung Sisters and Road to Dawn. A fictionalized assassination attempt on his life was featured in Bodyguards and Assassins. He is also portrayed during his struggle to overthrow the Qing dynasty in Once Upon a Time in China 2. The TV series Towards the Republic features Ma Xiaohua as Sun Yat-sen. In the 100th anniversary tribute of the film 1911, Winston Chow played Sun. In Space, Above and Beyond, one of the starships of the China Navy is named the Sun Yat-sen. Topic. Performances In 2010 a theatrical play Yellow Flower on Slopes Zai Lu Huang Hua was created and performed. In 2011 there is also a mandopop group called Zhongshan Road 100, Zhongshan Lu 100 Hao, known for singing the song, Our Father of the Nation. Wo Men Guo Fu. Topic. Controversy. Topic. New Three Principles of the People At one time CPC General Secretary and PRC President Zhang Zemin claimed Sun Yat-sen had a New Three Principles of the People, Xin San Min Zhu Yi which consisted of working with the Soviets, working with the Communists and helping the farmers. Lian A Lian Gong Fu Zhu Gong Nong. Lily Sun said the CPC was distorting Sun's legacy in 2001. She then voiced her displeasure in 2002 in a private letter to Zhang about the distortion of history. In 2008 Zhang Zemin was willing to offer $10 million to sponsor a Xinhai Revolution anniversary celebration event. According to Ming Pao she could not take the money because she would no longer have the freedom to communicate the revolution. This concept is still currently available on Baika Baidu. Topic. KMT emblem removal case. In 1981 Lily Sun took a trip to Sun Yat-sen Mausoleum in Nanjing, People's Republic of China. The emblem of the KMT had been removed from the top of his sacrificial hall at the time of her visit, but was later restored. On another visit in May 2011, she was surprised to find the four characters, General Rules of Meetings, 
Wei Yi Tong Zhe, a document that Sun wrote in reference to Robert's Rules of Order, had been removed from a stone carving. Topic: <laughs> Father of Independent Taiwan issue. In November 2004 the ROC Ministry of Education proposed that Sun Yat-sen was not the father of Taiwan, instead Sun was a foreigner from mainland China. Taiwanese Education Minister Tu Cheng Sheng and Examination Yuan member Lin Yu Ti, both of whom supported the proposal, had their portraits pelted with eggs in protest. At a Sun Yat-sen statue in Kaohsiung, a 70-year-old ROC retired soldier committed suicide as a way to protest the ministry proposal on the anniversary of Sun's birthday 12 November. Works <laughs> 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 The Outline of National Reconstruction, Qian Kuo Ta Kong 1918. The Fundamentals of National Reconstruction, Jiangguo Fanglu 1924. The Principle of Nationalism 1953. See also Chiang Kai-shek Chinese Anarchism History of the Republic of China Politics of the Republic of China Sun Yat-sen Museum Penang United States Constitution and Worldwide Influence Zheng Shan Su Topic. References Topic. Further reading Sung, Irma Tam 1997. Sun Yat Sen's Christian Schooling in Hawaii. Hawaii, The Hawaiian Journal of History, Vol. 31. Sun Yat Sen's Vision for China, Martin, Bernard, 1966. Sun Yat Sen, Yang Chu Yun, and the Early Revolutionary Movement in China, She, Chun Tu. Berger, Marie Claire. 2000. Sun Yat Sen. Stanford University Press. ISBN 0 8047 4011 9. Sun Yat-sen 1866 to 1925: The Millennium Biographies, Hong Kong, 1999. Sun Yat-sen and the Origins of the Chinese Revolution, Shifrin, Harold Z, 1968. Sun Yat-sen: His Life and Its Meaning: A Critical Biography. Sharman, Leon, 1968. C. 1934. Sun Yat-sen in Penang. Ku Salma Nasushin, Arika Books, 2008. C. 2010 Sun Yat-sen and the Struggle for Modern China. TJIO, Kalo. Marshall Cavendish, 2017. Sun Yat-sen Nanyang Memorial Hall. Retrieved 7 May 2015. Dr. Sun Yat-sen Memorial Hall. Retrieved 1 July 2005. A detailed talk about Sun Zhongshan. In Chinese. Archived from the original on 5 April 2004. Retrieved 18 September 2005. Toten Miyazaki Bio. Pearl S. Buck, The Man Who Changed China, The Story of Sun Yat-sen 1953. Lawrence M. Kaplan, Homer Lee, American Soldier of Fortune University Press of Kentucky, 2010. Topic. External links. Rock Government Biography in English in Chinese Sun Yat-sen in Hong Kong University of Hong Kong Libraries, Digital Initiatives Contemporary Views of Sun Among Overseas Chinese Yokohama Overseas Chinese School established by Dr. Sun Yat-sen National Dr. Sun Yat-sen Memorial Hall Official Website in English in Chinese Dr. Sun Yat-sen Middle School 131, New York City Dr. Sun Yat-sen Museum, Penang, Malaysia Homer Lee Research Center Was Young Wing Dr. Sun Supporter? The Red Dragon Scheme Reveals the Truth Miyazaki Toten He Devoted His Life and Energy to the Chinese People My Grandfather, Drive. Sun Yat-sen, by Lily Sui Fong Sun Nong Nong Shang Ching Shi Zhang Yuan Fang Sun Zhang Shan Xian Sheng Sun Nu Sun Sui Fang Bo Shi Wo De Zhu Fu Shi Ke Jia Ren Chinanews.com.cn, 4 December 2003
Dr. Sun Yat-sen Foundation of Hawaii A virtual library on Dr. Sun in Hawaii including sources for six visits Who is Homer Lee? Sun's best friend. He trained Chinese soldiers and prepared the framework for the 1911 Chinese Revolution. Works by Sun Yat-sen at Project Gutenberg Works by or about Sun Yat-sen at Internet Archive Newspaper clippings about Sun Yat-sen in the 20th-century press archives of the German National Library of Economics ZBW. <laughs>